Hi guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to the Jen Hornick and Bob Palestri weekly real estate market update. Um, we actually are gonna get right to business today because we have a lot of great information we wanna share with you. So um, we, as we said, we are doing the livable knockdown scenario for you today. Yes, the livable knockdown is what I call the extended time win. Many times uh, folks have a, a budget, let's say in that million dollar range or under a million, and they can't go out and build, buy that new house for a million and a half, 1.7. So they look, the opportunity is to buy something now, use it for several years while you're planning and it gives you that time to accumulate other assets to move forward. So it gives you, it's a nice time frame win. So there are still many of the Cape Cod type houses on the ground level houses on the island. Uh, builders have been buying them for years. Uh, homeowners have been buying them. And uh, so I'm gonna give you a couple of hints today on um, what we wanna look for when we wanna do a livable knockdown. Number one is the size of the lot. The size of the lot is probably one of the most important items. Uh, it ties in with the allowable square footage, item number two. So typically on the island, and there's six towns, so they all have different regulations, but at the end of the day, you're allowed to build on about 33% of that lot. So uh, my gut, my uh, consulting with you as a client tells me you probably don't want to go smaller than a 40 by 90. Typical lot on Long Beach Island is 50 by 100. You, if you found a great location, you might do a 40 by 80, but I would stay in, in that size. Um, the item number three, which is uh, also important, is to get a builder, a builder that's built on the island. And and I would say as far as time frame of getting that builder in, anywhere from when you have looked at the house to before you're out of attorney review. You have plenty of time between there to get back into the house, go back to the property um, with your builder. Right, so we look at the lot with you. We look at the allowable square footage. The builder could have other insight that you or we might be missing. So you wanna get that builder there to look at the site, actually come out, stand in front of that uh, uh, site with you to give their opinion. The other component of having the builder is what is the average cost per square foot to build? Uh, those costs have been going up a little, but I think you'll still find you can build a, a nice house between $200 a square foot to 250. You know, that gives you a, a um, elevator, hardwood floors, nice granite kitchen. Um, so that's another aspect of hint number three, getting that builder at, uh, input. You as a buyer, always have to get a new survey and elevation, but usually the seller has a survey. Sometimes the town, if I go to the assessor's office, I can find an old survey. We wanna look at that survey and just see if there's anything strange uh, uh, on the survey that we need to address. Um, that also ties in with going to the town Go to the zoning people, go to the construction people. They can give you a lot of input and they can also help you zero in on what that location is to uh, available square footage. And don't be afraid, any of the towns, the township, Harvey Cedar, it doesn't matter where you are. All of those officials that, and everyone that works there is super helpful. They, um, any of my clients that have called have gotten really great information from them. They are extremely helpful. So don't think that, you know, you're going to be up against the wall when you make that call. And I, I could ramble on with uh, many examples of how my clients have done this over the years, but I'll just give you a, a recent one. 
maybe 18, 20 months ago, my client bought a nice uh, ocean block lot. Uh, well, was it a lot that he, when they bought it? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Excuse me. It was, <laughs> it was a livable knockdown. It was quite old. But they uh, worked on that and they used it for an entire year while they were developing plans, doing all these things, meeting with the builder, meeting with the architect. So, but they had a heck of a nice time with their family all last summer. You could do it for two summers. It, it depends on your uh, working on where you're going to get that extra funding to build. So uh, they now, I passed there the other day, they have a beautiful uh, five bedroom, uh, beautiful home being built on that lot. So it's happened many times, but I'm not gonna bore you with some of those examples. Now, one of our clients was asking me, and several of my clients have asked me recently, hey, our house is fine. It's not a livable knockdown. We're using that home We've been using it for years. Right. It's in good shape. You either bought it in good shape or you invested and in make that home nice. But they're saying, I want a nicer home. I want a bigger home. Yeah, I want an upgrade. I want an upgrade. And they're, they're thinking, and, the, and I'm reminding them, their most valuable asset is the land. Mm -hmm. So you have that land. So there is a, an opportunity, the bonus, that you're in that house that you love, but you could knock that down and build an even nicer home. And then you're back up to the same scenario. You already have the lot, but you want that builder to come out and uh, help you with some of that information. So that's kind of concise on um, the livable yes. knockdown, but it's the bonus situation I know several of my clients have been asking about this and uh, one of them has already ventured in. They have an architect and they've called one of the uh, uh, mortgage people that does the construction loans. So uh, that might tie into something. Yeah, doing. so within the next couple weeks, um, we're going to be having some more guest appearances. Uh, and we actually have someone that's going to come in and talk to us about the financing options if you want to stay in your home and do that rebuild. Um, we're super excited because we have another guest appearance next week. Um, he is a local mortgage professional and he is in the trenches working on LBI. He knows the market extremely well and we asked him to come and share some of his insights with you guys. So that'll be next week. So the livable knockdown and your own home that you can knock down very efficiently. Any questions, anything um, that you want to hear, please let us know. And if you have anything specific that you would like us to address with our mortgage pro next week, please let us know and we will make sure that he answers you. Have a great weekend. Take care.